So can you hear the washing machine going or the toaster? Because my lunch break is like 40 minutes, so you do everything at once, including filming a vlog. Hey guys, I'm going to try to talk as um, non-stop as possible so that I don't have to edit this later. Um, today I'm just going to sort of ramble a little bit about how our holidays went. Um, it's been, man, it's been a crazy December. Um, I mentioned this probably, I think I mentioned this in either a couple videos or some um, Instagram stories or something that like I got sick for a week and a half in the middle of December. Um, and I still managed to like push through it and get everything done. So, you know, we had quantifiably good Christmas celebrations. You know, all of the gifts were there. We forgot one or two along the way, but you know, it, it all worked. I think everybody who was expected to get a gift in person did that kind of thing. But I just, I was sick and therefore like disconnected from everything. Um, in that way that like, when your body is just focusing on healing itself, you can't really spare mental thought to like think about other things. Um, and so I was like really focused on number one, getting Christmas done, ready in time, obviously. Number two, I wanted to get ahead on content creation because I knew that we were gonna be going out of town for uh, New Year's. So we went to San Francisco to visit my husband's cousins. It was a really fun trip. Um, it was a four day trip, but like two days were spent traveling there and back. So it was like a two day trip with a day of travel on either side. And that was its whole thing. Um, but anyway, before Christmas, I was trying to get ahead of my video production and blog posts and newsletters and all of that. Um, and if you're subscribed in all of those places, links down below, if you're not, um, if you're subscribed in all those places, you'll have seen that like content's been coming out great. I don't know if you've been able to notice though, that like. I don't feel connected to it right now because there's that delay between when I publish it and when it actually goes live. So like I'm writing about stuff in the future, maybe, or I'm writing about stuff like in the present, but you're not getting it until the future. And so there's that like temporal disconnect. And then there's also like the mental disconnect of like, I'm just sick and I'm just trying to get stuff out. I'm just trying to get it out on time so that I don't have to stress about it. I definitely didn't want to be doing any content production on the holidays or during our vacation. So fortunately that was fine. I didn't make anything on Christmas day. I didn't make anything on our trip. Um, but I was definitely like preoccupied by it beforehand. So on top of all that, like having days off from work is great. Um, but I kind of, it throws off my schedule. Like I generally, I get up now early on the days that I'm working to do content stuff, gunchy stuff. Um, but like I don't do that on the weekends and so I wasn't doing that on my days off. So I had, uh, I worked on the Monday of Christmas week and then I had off Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day and then I was working again on Friday. Um, but both of those were like half days for different reasons. And then um, I took off Monday, Tuesday of New Year's week so that I had, you know, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday the first and then um, I worked Thursday, Friday of New Year's week. So all of those days that I had off were kind of weirdly disconnected as well. And then I just, just as a result of all of this, just kind of feel really disconnected from like the community, from you guys, because everything feels like on a weird delay or that I'm just making the stuff to get it out there. Um, and I know that like, I would be forgiven if I missed a video or something, but I just don't want to get into the habit of missing videos. Um, and so I'm getting something out and I think that it, they've been pretty decent, you know, quality videos and stuff too. Um, but like, it doesn't feel community based. It just feels like content based, which is kind of weird. And I definitely want to feel like I want to get more plugged in to like the community aspect, um, in the new year. So I'm trying to make, I, I want to try to make a habit of getting more involved on Instagram stories. Of course, just by saying it out loud means it's probably not going to happen. So again, I know I'll be forgiven if I can't, but like, I want to try to just like post little updates throughout the day, just so that you know, like where I am in real time with a little bit less edited stuff, um, as opposed to like the polished things that go out in advance and are scheduled in advance. But then, you know, it's just things get busy and as they do, um, 
I, I just I hope I don't get sick again because my in-laws are both have colds and we spent the whole New Year's week traveling with them in a cramped car um, so like my father-in-law took off normally he watches the baby Thursday Friday but he asked if we could have the babysitter do it instead because he didn't want to get her sick it's like yeah, the damage might already be done so I hope that we all stay healthy um, I woke up with a headache this morning but I've been fine since so Anyway, I guess if I do get sick, I'll let you know on Insta stories. Link in the comment. I mean, in the description. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so I was like, all right, it's going to be, um, we left on Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to be out of town. So it's just two days of the work week and then a weekend without any plans. I'm not going to make a weekly for the first week of January. Um, I'll just consider it a four-week four month and just... I, like, I already decorated my weekly for the 6th through the whatever. Here, I'll show you. I have it right here. Like, okay, when I say decorated, that's all I've done. But it looks okay, right? Anyway, I wanted to try out some of the new mild liners I got. Um, and so I'm like, I'm not going to do a weekly. It's fine. And then I, I get back home and I really felt like... <laughs> After a vacation, I feel like I need the stability of having my job it just kind of is an anchor point in my day to feel like I know where I am. Like, I'm sure that if I stayed at home full time that that would change. But as it is right now, like having a job that I go to and having time beforehand and after and at lunch and all that structure makes me feel like I know where I am. Um, and I definitely wanted to get back into that feeling, <laughs> um, you know, tidy up the house a little bit more and all of this and just feel on top of things. Um, and so I made just like a one page thing that was supposed to just be sort of notes while we were out of town and then I kept adding to it. And now I'm thinking, man, I really feel like I need something more structured. It's way too late. Like I'm filming this on Friday afternoon. I've been using the Peanuts Planner Co. Um, daily sticky notes for my dailies, which are great. Um, but I just wanted something a little bit more, I don't know. Anyway, for this weekend, I'm trying out the new My Summer Touch Fobonichi dailies. Um, they're not decorated yet. You'll have seen that photo on Insta Stories. I'm gonna try to decorate it a little bit, just give it a bit of structure, make me feel like I know what I'm doing because <laughs> it turns out um, something that like I knew about, but it wasn't like on my radar as much as like packing or that was the pizza. Um, like we had a party we went to last Saturday and then we were packing to leave on Sunday. So those were the things I was thinking about, you know, go out of town, come back and work for a couple of days. Uh, yeah, we're having people over this Sunday for a game night and I had forgotten. Fortunately, uh, the benefit of this is a friend is hosting it. We're just like the location. So she's doing the invitations. She's making sure that people bring like potluck stuff. We'll just have like some potluck stuff. But that still means that's something that I forgot to account for when doing our grocery order, which I picked up yesterday. <laughs> so I still have to go out to the store and get something to serve to, to people and friends coming over. And mostly they're people who aren't going to judge us if things aren't super tidy. But like, I want to clear off space on the dining room table to put the food. Um, you know, we got to move the coffee table to where we can host the game night and all of that. So these are suddenly things that like, now that my life is back on its foundation, um, and has its structure, I feel like suddenly I can see clearly what's coming ahead. You know, and I have my planner system here going, uh, yeah, okay, let's list out some things that need to get done and let's list out our, you know, top priorities and let's clean that bathroom and let's tidy away all this stuff and let's vacuum this area rug. And, um, that's, that's where I am right now. Um, and so as this video goes out, I'm still going to be cleaning the house and getting ready for our game night. Um, <laughs> But, you know, honestly, it's kind of nice to um, to just be filming an off-the-cuff vlog because this is the most immediate video that I've made in a long time um, because, like I said, I'm filming this Friday. It's going to go out in two days. So, again, that's why I haven't stopped talking too much uh, throughout this video. Um, I hope you guys are having a great new year so far. So far, my resolution's going well. Um, but... I'm not going to tell you too much because, again, I've already created it and it's ready to go out, but there's going to be a blog post about my New Year's resolution that goes out on Wednesday. So if you want to make sure you don't miss that, go ahead and click the link in the uh, in the description for my blog, and then you can sign up for my um, 
email list to get notifications of new blog posts. So that will be going up on Wednesday. Um, Thursday, we're learning about Gantt charts. So look forward to that as well. And subscribe so you don't miss it. Ring the bell if that's your sort of thing. And if you like this video, there's a button for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you watched the whole way through, you're my people and I love you. And thank you for your understanding. If I feel weird, I don't know if it showed through at all, but if it did, I'm sorry and I'm back. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying your new year, that you have a stress-free weekend so far and um, a great 2020. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.